Russian disinformation has become a, a big problem for Czech Republic in the uh, last couple of years, especially since the 2014. In Czech Republic and Slovakia, there's around 100 websites that are spreading pro-Russian and anti-Western narratives. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of common characteristics. Uh, they uh, spread very strongly anti-Western narratives. They try to sow confusion. Uh, undermine trust uh, of citizens towards the governments, towards institutions, uh, towards democracy, uh, towards uh, basically anything what's coming from the West, NATO, EU. Not all of them, but most of them claim no allegiance to Kremlin. Out of those 100 websites, only Sputnik is owned by Kremlin, uh, Sputnik News in Czech Republic. Um, then there's one more website in Czech Republic, that is uh, owned by Russian citizens living in Czech Republic. All the other websites, they basically claim no allegiance to, to Russia or Kremlin. Uh, and today, anybody can start a website, start writing about things that people like and call itself alternative media. It's very hard for us, for civil society, for media, to investigate the background of those, uh, of those platforms, of those media sources. There's no one solution to the problem. I think we need to do uh, many things because the problem itself is so complicated and it, it's, it, it relates or it's connected to so many parts of the society. The response needs to come from all parts of the society, from the government, from the civil society, from the media, uh, from the educational system. That's very important. Uh, Czech Republic has been actually quite active and quite good in responding to the phenomenon. Uh, under the Ministry of Interior, there's a new center, uh, Center for Hybrid Threats and Terrorism, and uh, it's specifically tasked to deal with the with the hybrid threats, and one of them is, is disinformation. To deal with the with improving the internal communication in the government, uh, to to analyze the problems, and based on that, to propose uh, policy responses to the government, to the Czech government. Uh, it's part of a bigger reform, uh, and also each agency within the government, within the Czech uh, institutions, have one person which is dedicated to the strategic communications. So it's creating a network of officials uh, that are uh, tasked to, to deal with the strategic communications. So in case of a crisis or in case of a conspiracy theory, they are, uh, the system can respond to the, to the disinformation and conspiracies much better. All these initiatives, it's, a, it's definitely a step in the right direction, uh, but there is a lot of work we need to do in the future. This is a part of a long-term strategy because this is, this is a problem which will not go away tomorrow. Even if Russia disappears tomorrow, there are, there are other players that can use the same methods, manipulative methods. So we need to make our societies resilient to this problem, and this, is a, this needs to be a comprehensive strategy.